Hello Aquarius. Hi guys. Welcome to your weekly reading with me, Cindy. So Aqua Babies. Um, what's your blind spot? This is my favorite one out of all of them. The blind spot. What's coming? I don't know. Do you guys like it? It's like a surprise. It's kind of like, well, I don't know. Surprises are fun. Well, I guess it depends what kind of surprise. Hopefully this is a good surprise. So we're gonna get started. I have four different decks that I'm using now. Um, I'm gonna announce this on each reading this week. So everybody knows. It's probably gonna become repetitive by the time we get to Capricorn, but oh well, it's new for you. Um, well, I'm gonna be using this deck, Return of Spirit deck. Nothing too new there, but I have three brand new decks and they're decks that I've already got, but I got new ones because they're gonna be part of a giveaway that I'm going to be uh, doing for, for you guys. So I got a brand new Shadowscape Tarot deck. It's right here. I got a brand new Modern Spellcast. Ooh, there. King of Wands, I love that. Brand new Modern um, sp Spellcasters Tarot deck. And I've got um, a brand new Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Oracle deck. So there is a video on my channel saying why, why we have these. And they're actually, each one of these decks, somebody out there is going to win them. So they're brand new, but I thought it would be more interesting if you actually got to win decks that were being used on the channel. So I put my other ones away. I would never give those away. They're too, too special. But you can get all the details about why those decks were chosen for the giveaway. So let's get started, Aquarius. Your blind spot. I don't want to there we go. I have a very fancy chair at the arm to do that. So, what is coming? What is coming towards Aquarius in their blind spot? You don't see it coming, but here it comes. Aquarius, your blind spot. Whoa. Isn't that funny? Ooh. I think this was at the bottom when I was showing you the deck. You got Worthy and Celestial. Worthy and Celestial. Oh, but I got to do more. Okay, I'm gonna put that away. Oh gosh. <laughs> I was told, look at the bottom of the deck. And it's like Aquarius, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Your readings lately have been something else. Your readings have been something else. Okay, so I want to shuffle the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck. The brand new world and oh it's like butter man shuffle the deck oh it's so nice and new it's not all thick and frayed like my deck is so nice so what is coming what is coming towards I want to get one card for what is coming towards aquarius can we get one can we get one card for what 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 is coming what is coming oh gosh darn it Gosh darn it, you got the oyster. Beautiful boy. I'm not surprised with Celestial actually. I'm not surprised at all. Okay, I'm gonna get into that in a minute. Now I wanna pull cards for why the universe is bringing this towards you. Why is the universe bringing this towards you? I'm gonna pull cards from the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck. And Tiro. And the tarot, why? Why is the universe bringing this to Aquarius? Why is the universe bringing this to Aquarius? Because you've been waiting for it. There you go. You've been watching and waiting for it and you're just such a happy little guy, you deserve it. That's nice, eh? Look at the universe is looking after you. What can you expect from this? So what can you expect from this Aquarius? What can you expect from this? What can Aquarius expect from this? What can Aquarius expect? Ooh. Gosh, the colors are so much better on this deck than mine. Look at how much they fade. The owl, the barn owl, is what you can expect from this. I want to say you can expect the unexpected in this whole situation with the barn owl for sure. Totally silent predator coming in, no sound at all, not expected. 
predator. Doesn't really seem like a predator. Look, sits there and looks so lovely. Very, I want to say what you can expect is very lovely situations out of this. Very lovely situations out of this. And continue to expect the unexpected. Like this is a very big opportunity for growth. You've earned it. You've really earned it. With the Worthy and the Celestial cards, you've really earned this opportunity for growth. This is sort of meant for you with the Oyster card. It's time to collect your prize, really. It's really time to collect your prize, Aquarius. What's in there? You've proven... I want to say, like, with the Worthy card, it feels like you've proven your worth somehow. And I don't mean that, like... No, it's not... It's kind of like proving your worth to me is kind of an under overused statement in almost the same scenario all the time. So it, it kind of... People have a misconception. I don't know. Proving your worth. Like, sometimes you prove your worth to yourself. Sometimes you prove... You know, I can do it. I've done it. I'm up for it. I've met the challenge. It's as if the universe, um, and it's not like I have to prove myself. No, it's like you are the proof. You've raised your vibrational energy. You've stepped up. You've really looked inside yourself and moved forward and it's like this special little gift coming towards you from the universe that um, only matches your resonance so because you are really in your full resonance now you're resonating you you're really being you without holding back you're expressing and i want to say like every breath you take inhale and exhale it's like your truth it's kind of beautiful and because of that, the universe can recognize you. It's a very celestial. Let's go to the tarot. This is where we get the fun stuff now, the tarot. So let's get some clarifiers on this, what's coming towards you. I don't know. If I swear, we get fire signs and from like, I don't know what has been going on with you at the bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh <laughs> jeez. I can just keep going with this underlying cards. Okay, so you got the sexuality as the underlying here. You got power. This is like putting you in a very powerful energy. Gifted. It's opening up gifts for you. This is a gift as well. It's almost like your prayers have been answered. Something that would be ideal for you, and here it is. There you go. Snatch it. It's under the tree for you. And commitment. Commitment to yourself, commitment to someone else, commitment to this project or to this gift. I stopped because then the cards were upside down. I don't get it. So how, I feel kind of awkward. I'm trying to, I know some people like to see kind of the table and the shuffle and me. I'm having difficulty getting it lined up so my head is still in the picture and you can see the table and it's not like 20 feet back, but I have to lower my chair and I have to look at it. To the table. The table is so big. Okay, just clarify. Clarify. The oyster. Oh, the oyster. Oh, man, I just got this visualization. Maybe you're going out for dinner, too. <laughs> I just got, I haven't had these in a long time. So good. You know, a plate of oysters, fresh oysters shucked out of the shell and they're sitting there presented and all their juice in them. Oh my God, it's so yummy. And just a bit of, um, a tiny bit of lemon juice on them. Just a dash, like a tiny dash of garlic powder and a tiny droplet of whatever hot sauce you like. I feel like you can dress this up any way you want it to be. Maybe you can dress up any way you want to be. Interesting. Wow, come on, cards. Let's clarify this. Because you're a new deck doesn't mean you're not going to work. Mm, the five of wands. It's been difficult. It's been difficult. You've really been working on this. 
I want to say it feels like something that you've been trying to achieve, trying to move towards, trying to get. There's been competition around it for you and you finally sort of figured it out that the best way to go is my way and that actually ends up being in the complete opposite direction from how everyone else is approaching this situation and that brings you success that brings you to the oyster and look at that look at how these cards are sitting look at them moving right towards the oyster he is forget about the bunny rabbit everyone else is interested in the bunny you're like no <laughs> There's something better over here if I follow this path. And there actually is no competition around it because it's there sort of just meant for you. It's not to say that a little competition isn't healthy. It can be. But this is almost something that you don't even need to compete for. It's there for you. It's there for you. What makes you decide to go in the other direction? Like, what gives you? I want to know. Oh, you like you just, is it just an epiphany? No, it's the other way. I need to go in the other direction. The bunny's not the prize, the oyster is. The bunny hatched out of the oyster. It's almost like, why would I go after the golden egg when I want the goose? Ooh, the five of pentacles and the hierophant. Wow, the five of wands and the five of pentacles. Yeah, there's been a struggle here trying to get this. And the hierophant. You've been, I want to say, sort of locked into a protocol here. This is how you're supposed to do it. And it was like programming in your mind and expectations. Yeah, this is how I'm supposed to do it. This is how it's supposed to go. This is what I'm supposed to do. And that's been confining you and constraining you. And it's been feeling heavy. And it hasn't been bringing you any closer to what this is that you want. It has not been bringing you any closer to what it is that you want. And you finally discovered that, yeah, I'm gonna hold these up because it's pretty cool. You finally discovered to go the other way, move away from the hierophant. You don't need that energy right now. You're gonna create your own hierophant energy almost. Almost creating your own hierophant, almost your own legacy as you move forward towards this. Still not telling me what's in it. I mean, they're telling me how you're getting there, why you're deciding to go towards the oyster. What do we need to know about this oyster? What does Aquarius need to know about this oyster? Wow. The seven of pentacles. The eight of pentacles. And the chariot. <laughs> So this is all about divine timing. It's all about divine timing, having, you know, planted the seeds ahead of time and harvest is approaching. It really is. There's work to be put into it at this point, but it's not going to be hard work. It feels like in the past it was very hard. It was a struggle to communicate, to do the day in and day out. Almost as if there were other things in your way and you know you wanted this oyster, but you just couldn't because it was blocks. The opportunity wasn't presenting itself. And now the opportunity is presenting itself. And it's almost as if, you know, every struggle that you took in the past, even though it was in a different direction, it prepared you for this direction. And with the chariot, and see this little crab guy? Yeah, little crab guy is bringing up this wonderful egg from the ocean, bringing up this wonderful egg from the ocean, something hatched from your deep feelings and emotions here about to come to the surface and you're rushing towards it in this chariot. Don't not tell me what's in it, but the chariot, I want to feel like it's so, Something to do with love and feelings, it's cancer energy. Celestial. What's the celestial aspect to this? What is the celestial aspect to this blind spot that's coming this oyster? It's almost like they're trying to continue to keep it a blind spot in a way. It's like a little trail of breadcrumbs for you. Like there's an oyster. Something pretty special 
that you've wanted or been working towards and then finally realized, oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. I'm chasing the wrong, I'm chasing the wrong thing. Almost the wrong approach. Made it the wrong thing. And now that you've changed your direction, your approach, it presents itself. And the opportunity, it's like you and the opportunity start coming together. You know, I almost want to say it's if maybe it was like a circle. You and this thing you were trying to get <laughs> and around and around. It didn't matter. If you sped up, it sped up. If you sped up, it sped up. It, yeah, like it mirrored you in a sense of energies were kind of working simultaneously with each other in coordination with one another. And then as soon as you were like, wait a second, ch change direction. I do that with my little dog, Lily, if I'm chasing her around a support post. She's going around and around and around. And then I stop and I go the other way and I catch her just like that. It's almost like that. It's like, well, this is silly. I'm just going around in circles. I need to just stop and go in a different direction. There it is. And I'm like you and this wonderful egg coming out of the ocean, you both come and boom, there you go. There you go. Work smart, not hard, right? Well, you should still be smart, but you know, if you're smart enough, it kind of takes more of the hard work out. The celestial, the celestial. So this is the very, very first time I used the, these decks that I'm giving away here. The nine of cups. Again. It's something that's going to make you very happy. <laughs> it's something that's going to make you very happy. Wish fulfillment. Moving into energy to create more wishes and more fulfillment, though, with the celestial. All right, that's all they're going to tell us. And why you, the universe is bringing this to you, because you deserve it. You're so cute. You're so happy. <laughs> really, the otter is the happiest little guy in the deck. And... Um, because you've really done something here for yourself. I mean, why is the universe bringing this to you? It's because I want to say you are so happy and it's actually bringing you more happiness. Isn't that amazing how that works? If you're miserable, sometimes you just become more and more miserable. And at some point you have to just say, stop, <laughs> I'm going to do something. And you can be as simple as you, okay, I'm going to show gratitude to everything I can in my day. So you get up in the morning, I have gratitude for my bed. I have gratitude for the sheets that kept me warm. I have gratitude for the running water. Okay. And just, you know, it can seem like very simple that we take advantage of them. But hey, there are people out there that don't have a bed to wake up in. They don't have sheets or comforters to keep them warm. They don't have running water. So we really need to look at And if you don't even have running water, is the water clean? Is there something? Find something in your day. And that's just enough to start trying to change that thought process. Okay, if, can, we all go there. We all get into things happen and we kind of go down, down, down. But you've been going up, up, up and the universe is delivering more up, up, up with this otter. That's why you deserve it. Let's go into this other deck and get some Claro fires. Oh, this one shuffles like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Mine does not shuffle like that anymore. Mine is so thick. The paper. This is so nice. This is like an ASMR just shuffling this deck. Oh my gosh. This is like meditation for me. I could just do this all day with this deck. There we go. Oh my gosh. Why is the universe bringing this to Aquarius? Why is the universe bringing this to Aquarius? Why is it coming to Aquarius? The little otter. Let's give us confirmation. Oh, the Eight of Pentacles. Well, you have put the work in. I know you have. I just kind of feel like I'm getting repeats with the tarot. It's not really telling us any more here, is it? Maybe because the deck is so new. Do you think? <laughs> I haven't put enough energy in it. I pre-shuffled them. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, it's exactly what I was talking about. It's as if you've propelled yourself into wanting to be happy, wanting to find happiness. If something's not going right, you're still trying to push through it and say, you know, I'm going to find that happiness. I mean, it's just, 
you know, it's raining a little bit here. You could say he's preparing for a rainy day, but it feels different to me than that. It's as if, you know, things don't always work out as planned, but there's still something good down at the end of the road for me. There's still something good about this day. There's still something, this positive attitude. Jeez. Well, to put some of the sexual cards y'all been getting lately. <laughs> what do you like? You're feeling pretty good. Um, but yeah, you put the work in. Okay, so this is why. There is no, you know what? There's no heavy lesson in this. There's nothing. So far, it's just, you figured it out. You made, you, you made yourself happy. You realized that you were the only key to your happiness and nobody else was, no other situation was. And you changed your course of direction and now you're meeting this wonderful opportunity head on. You've proven your worthiness. I wanna say almost to the energies that exercise and move around us. You've proven your worthiness, like when you put the happiness out there, you put the happiness, put the happiness, and then it starts coming back to you, like even more happiness, until you run into, th so someone once runs into an Aquarian, it's like, damn, why are you so happy? I don't know, it just keeps getting better. There isn't a single, like, life lesson in this yet. This is a happiness. You just went on summer vacation, baby, from Earth School. That's what's coming in here. You got a summer vacation coming in from Earth School. You pass the test, you finish the exams, and that's time to get the reward and go out and have more fun. Any other clarifiers? Yeah, look, it's the King of Cups. The King of Cups could be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. More of those little crabs crawling in the water towards his feet. That's what it feels like. There's more. There's more than this, just this. There's more than just this, this oyster. And I think I said that when this card came out, you know, what to expect. Expect the unexpected. There's more that's going to come in with this than just what's being presented here. More than what you could anticipate and see. And it's all sort of in this alignment of this happy spirit. Happy, happy. Joy, joy, like, this is good. All right, what can you expect? Let's see what they tell us about the expect. Because expect the unexpected. So maybe here we'll get a little something. <laughs> maybe here we'll get a little something. Oh, I was just told to shuffle out and pull five cards from the top as they throw three cards out at me. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> now it's getting exciting. <laughs> we got the devil. We got the eight of wands. And we got the High Priestess. Ooh, my goodness. This Devil card feels good, though. <laughs> I was just going to say. It actually feels good. And I like it with the Eight of Wands beside it. I feel like if it, expect the unexpected. One of the expectations here, one of the things that you can expect that um, is if anything felt toxic in the past, overthinking, a bad habit about something like it doesn't feel like an like a really detrimental bad habit like it doesn't feel like a cocaine addiction or anything it feels like maybe um too much focus on something or over analyzing the situation or um desiring something so much to the point that it consumes you it doesn't really feel well maybe a little bit like that but that's gone that's going to be gone it's almost whatever comes in in this oyster it pushes all of that away. It pushes all of that away. And with the High Priestess, um, I feel like this energy, it's almost like the universe playing with um, possibilities here for you. And I see this little baby here and it's telling me it's like the rebirth of new little cycles. All these new things, all these new energies that are going to um, be rebirthed through her book of spells through this connection. I want to say like if this oyster is a person or a job opportunity once you get into it once you get into this relationship this connection this job career whatever it is position there's going to be so many more wonderful things coming through with it that you wouldn't expect probably other um personal connections 
that lead to interesting experiences and ideas. I also feel like you've taken your desires, anything that you, what to expect here, anything that was like a toxic element in some way, and you're using it in a different way as well. It's kind of like earlier on where I was saying you're chasing the rabbit and going this way. And then you change your direction. It's like you do that with this devil energy, with this toxic energy, this shadow part in you. You change the direction. You somehow use that desire in a positive way to create more opportunities through this situation. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Well, what else should we pull out? Uh, I feel like we should pull. Do I have all my decks out here? Um, oh, I know. You guys are always first, so you know. I'm going to make it up as I go with you for the week. What are we going to do? Now I got the inspiration. I'm going to go into the Wings of Wisdom to get a final Oracle card for you. Oh, I just got the sec, the third question. Just got the third question. Mm -hmm. Flying Fox at the bottom, how interesting. Bats, something to do with bats. You're gonna know, if you go see um, the video about the giveaway that I'm gonna do, there's three questions, and I can only come up with the first two, but I just came up with the third. All right. Final message for Aquarius. A final message for Aquarius regarding this blind spot. Your blind side. Your blind spot. You've got Pelican. Abundance. Centering yourself and making choices. The affirmation is, I am strong, confident, and abundant. Yeah, I feel like you're already using that, though. There you go. I'm going to read the back. You have the innate ability to attract many things into your world, so you can afford to be choosy about what you really want and need and leave all else aside. Balance your need to fly high with divine beyond the superficial into the deeper aspects of life. Look beneath the surface into the depths of the soul. Your inner vision will show you what is happening beyond mere appearances. Go after what you'd want directly, boldly, and with clear intention. You have the inner strength to protect you from outer circumstances. Yeah, that really feels like this reading for you. That's a really good reading. I know I sound disappointed. I'm like, oh, there was no like dirty laundry to get into here, Aquarius. It was just so great. You've done so well. I really have to say, bravo. Awesome energy, bringing you an awesome opportunity that is going to be followed through with more awesome opportunities is your blind spot here. That's pretty good. That's really nice. All right. Thank you, my aqua babies. Until next time, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.